Sesame Street by Shane Kearney. How many of us remember the shows we used to watch when we were a little kid? Many of us, I presume. Now, how many of us remember one of those shows to be Sesame Street? Still, a lot of us. Sesame Street is one of the largest installments in children's television history, a show that educated and entertained young children around the world. Although it would not be where it is today without a simple idea, a captivating debut, and a dedicated, interesting cast. The idea for Sesame Street came about at a dinner party in 1966 near Grand Mercy Park in Manhattan. Hosted by the future co-creator Joan Gans Cooney along with Lord Morset, an executive of the Carnegie Foundation mentioned that his young daughter was so attached to the television that she would sit and watch test patterns. This situation prompted public television producer Joan Cooney to think, what if he could take the attachment that young children have with the television and use that to educate and entertain them at the same exact time. Children would learn subjects that would prepare them for school, all from an eight foot tall canary or an angry garbage roller and other crazy and exciting characters while capturing their attention as well. After two long years of research, the CTW Children's Television Workshop received an $8 million grant from Carnegie, the U.S. Federal Government and the Ford Foundation to create the new television show. Designer Charles Rosen, created and based the set 123 Sesame Street for the show on the streets in Har Harlem, the Bronx, the Upper East Side, and also where the blocks where West Side Story was set after the title 123 Avenue B, which placed the setting of the show across from the Tompkins Square at 8th Street, was canceled because it was too New York specific. Three years later, after this brain idea came about, the first episode of Sesame Street premiered on November 10, 1969, on the channel PBS with the learning of their letters, of the letters W, S, and E, and the numbers two and three. By mid-decade of the 1970s, the show was in full bloom with millions of viewers and great reviews. Although in 1981, the federal government withdrew its part of the funding for the show, prompting Sesame Street to seek other sources like book royalties, product licensing, foreign income, and magazine division. Also prompting them to expand their already popular curriculum by adding topics about relationships, ethics, emotions, positive and negative, and also storylines inspired and experienced by the actual writers, cast, and crew. The show even introduced and successfully explained the meaning of death to young children by using Big Bird and Mr. Hooper, played by Will Lee, who actually passed away, winning them an Emmy in 1983. In the early test runs of the show, Real people in animated sequences were used, which did not go over well at all with the children and other viewers, and was thrown out and replaced with the addition of Jim Henson's Muppets, Big Bird, Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, Kermit the Frog, Grover, Bert and Ernie are all original characters of the cast Sesame Street, while Snuffleupagus played in 1971, The Count in 1972, Elmo in 1980, Zoe in 1993, and Abby Cadabby in 2006 were all characters that were later added to the show. By inputting themselves in the publishing, television, and product production aspects of the business world, Sesame Street started to expand their exposure rating. Big Bird led the show to be a huge success and was given a Time Magazine cover in 1970. Kermit was the first Sesame Street balloon added to the famous Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1977 and also hosted The Tonight Show in 1979 and the very popular Took Me Elmo was created after Elmo's chat with Rosie O'Donnell in 1996. With over 100 Emmys and 8 Grammys and over 40 years of being on the air as of 2009, balloons and parades, popular toys, magazine covers, and books, Sesame Street prove that children respond to education with a fun way of learning and an interesting and fun cast of characters, resulting in a captivated audience of young children and adults. This also showing that a simple idea at a dinner party could escalate into a very successful and popular franchise. Sesame Street, an educational show for four decades later, is being viewed by over millions of young children in over 120 countries. And to think that a dinner party, a television-obsessed young daughter, and a producer who asked the question, what if it, educa education, went down more like ice cream and spinach? Yay!